With the release of GTA 6 in 2025 and Rockstar Games now officially working with the modding team behind 5M, one question still remains. Will mod menus ever come to the Xbox Ones and PS4s? Hell, will they even ever come to the expanded and enhanced versions of GTA 5? Well, to understand how GTA 5 modding on console came to be, we need to go back a few years all the way to the year 2013. GTA 5 was set to be released on September 17th, 2013 for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. And the hype was huge. The Grand Theft Auto series had already established itself as one of the most popular and influential video game franchise. The success of GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas set very high expectations. GTA 5 promised to deliver three playable protagonists and an online multiplayer mode which is now commonly known as GTA Online. Although multiplayer would not come out until October 1st of 2013, just about two weeks after the launch of the main game. Now modding on Xbox 360 and PS3 started before the release of GTA Online. How? Well the first step in modding on consoles like the Xbox 360 and the PS3 involved jailbreaking or installing custom firmware onto the consoles. One of the earliest forms of modding involved modifying save game files. Players would use their PCs to edit these files, adding money, weapons, and other resources to their single player games. Now, because this is an educational video, I cannot tell you the tools in the software names. But basically, these tools allowed you to access the game files, inject mods, and even create custom content. Modders began replacing in-game files with modified versions. This allowed for more advanced mods such as custom cars, maps, and even scripts that altered gameplay mechanics. Some users took these mods into online and they could access special features like money drops, custom vehicles, and even your IP address. This obviously quickly led to issues in GTA 5 Online. Players with mods would use god mode, aimbot, or even trap you in a cage. The worst was being able to put you in a loop of death with an explosion. This led Rockstar Games to quickly crack down on modding, banning accounts, and patching exploits. One year later in 2014, GTA 5 would be released for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. During the first week, modding was relatively limited. Both Microsoft and Sony had implicated strict security protocols to prevent unauthorized modifications. These measures included encryption to secure boot processes that make it difficult to access and modify the game files. And any modding attempts in GTA Online were generally met with swift action from Rockstar Games, who eventually worked to identify and ban cheaters. Microsoft and Sony also enforced strict policies against modding and cheating, resulting in bans or suspensions of users who were caught modding. And if we go to the year 2015, GTA 5 would officially be released on PC. The first week of GTA 5 on PC saw a surge in modding activity. Experienced modders quickly began developing and releasing within days of the game's PC launch. In the single player mode, players began experimenting with all sorts of mods, from graphical enhancements to custom vehicles and characters. Now that's all great, but despite Rockstar's warnings, some players still brought mods into GTA Online. Modders would create invisible characters, flying cars, and random exploits. Rockstar quickly responded by patching vulnerabilities and issuing statements that mods were not allowed in GTA Online. They reinforced that mods were only tolerated in the single player mode. Around this time, 5M would also be released. The project started as a community-driven effort to provide more customization in GTA Online. It provided an alternative platform for modders and players to create and experience custom multiplayer content. 5M would quickly become well known for its roleplay servers. These servers often simulate real-life professions and social interactions, creating a unique experience separate from the standard GTA Online experience. As the years went by, 5M and GTA Online would only grow bigger, but the 360 and PS3 online servers would only get destroyed. Every lobby that you were in, there would be at least three modders, and always something happening on the map. It would go on like this until 2021. Rockstar Games would announce the shutdown of online services for GTA Online on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. This was part of the company's broader move because in 2022, the enhanced version of GTA 5 for the next generation consoles was released. Both Xbox Series XS and PlayStation 5 have closed and secure systems similar to their previous Predecessors. With modding on console pretty much impossible, GTA 5 PC would feel the wrath. Many players would slowly move over to the console version of GTA 5, that there were exploits that could crash people's games, or even reset their stats. GTA 5 for a while was so unplayable that you needed a VPN for every time you got on. One year later in 2022, and the GTA 6 footage got leaked, the leaked content included videos and screenshots that revealed details about the game settings, characters, and gameplay mechanics. Later on, Rockstar Games confirmed the leak and expressed their disappointment. Emphasized that the footage was from an earlier and unfinished version of the game. The September 2022 leak was one of the most high profile leaks in recent gaming history. A year later in 2023 and Rockstar Games gives us the GTA 6 trailer, getting over 100 million views just within two days. And now in 2024, GTA 5 Online is pretty much clear and clean. Modding GTA on console still remains undoable, while modding on PC still remains a problem. Now I'm not saying that Xbox and PlayStation next-gen consoles have never had modders on them, but I'm saying it's just not that easy to do. And if 
you can mod on these consoles, there's a very high chance that you will get caught. Again, this video is for educational, so you can learn history about GTA 5 online. If you enjoyed it, then like and subscribe. Watch one of these two videos on the screen now. And that was all for me. I'm out.